Hey guys, hello everybody. Very, 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 very good evening to all of you. Welcome to this session. My name is Pratesh Joshi. I'm your host, your host, and proud master teacher from Vidantu. Welcoming you to your grade 8 chapter microorganisms, friend and foe, where today we are learning about the food preservation. So I know in the previous session I told that this is the last chapter, last session of microorganisms, but no, there are two very important topics left. One is food preservation. And one is the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is a very very important concept that you all should learn and because uh, it is so important even from the exam point of view. So we'll have one more session next Monday on the nitrogen cycle and then microorganisms is over. Right. So welcome to the session everybody. Hope you guys are doing absolutely great. So let us learn about food preservation in today's session. And uh, as the previous uh, session today also uh, the board is not working. So guys. Um, if you want to learn with me and all the amazing teachers from Vedanto, if you join, if you want to join my micro courses, my micro or yeah, my micro courses are going on for grade 9th and 10th exclusively on diversity in living organisms, control and coordination, how do organisms reproduce, and uh, fundamental unit of life. These are the four micro courses that are going on currently. So if you want to join them, you can just go to bdng.com/ytpro and use the coupon code PRPRO. Okay. Apart from that, also let me tell you that you can connect with me on Instagram at Pitesh underscore Vidantu. I have not been active on Instagram since 2-3 days, but I'm again going to take the things in my hand and I'll be back to Insta from today night itself. So follow me on Instagram at Pitesh underscore Vidantu. Thank you so much Krishna. God bless you dearest and guys do not forget, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vidantu Young Wonders and also do share this video with your friends and school WhatsApp groups. Now, a very, 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 very important announcement for grade 8 that we were reading the comments of the students and the students were saying that they are not comfortable with the morning time because their schools have started. And because the schools have started, we have shifted the morning session of 11 to night at 9 o'clock. Are you guys okay with this time? First, quickly tell me in the chat, are you guys okay with this time of 9 o'clock? Yes or no? Are you guys okay with the 9 o'clock time? Yes or no? Quickly tell me. Quick, 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 quick. Jaldi, 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 jaldi. Yes? Amazingly awesome. If you still feel that this is not a perfect time for you, it is very late, or you know you're having your dinner, or you're too tired, if there's anything of that sort, please do let me know in the comment section, and then we can, you know, do something about it. But yes, let me tell you that this is the new timing for grade 8, Monday, 9 o'clock. This is shifted because you guys have your school is in the morning. Got it? Chalo. So now, um, hi, hi Rohit, hello. Let us learn about food preservation. Why is it important to preserve food? Because microorganisms that grow on our food produce toxic substances that makes the food poisonous, causing serious diseases. So if you have spoiled food that has been infected by microorganism, it can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, fever, nausea, vomiting, or even malaise. Food poisoning, foods poisoning if not treated at time can even be fatal. So it is very important that you do not consume food that has been infected by microorganisms and you prevent the food from getting infected by microorganisms. There are two ways. Do not eat infected food. Second, don't let the food get infected. So let us understand that how can we prevent food from getting infected. Spoiled food emits a bad smell and has a bad taste and changed color. Here are the some common methods to preserve food in our homes. You can use chemicals. You can use chemicals. So one way to preserve food is using chemicals in which you can use oil, you can use vinegar and you can use preservatives. You can use preservatives. Okay. Second is common salt, sugar, oil and vinegar and hot and cold treatment. Hot and cold treatment also includes pasteurization. Pasteurization was a technique at which, in which milk is heated to 70 degrees Celsius and then suddenly brought down to 10 degrees Celsius. And this method of pasteurization was discovered by Louis Pasteur. It was discovered by Louis Pasteur. Another technique in which you can preserve food is by packaging and storage. Packaging and storage. Other method is even sun drying. Even sun drying is a method in which you can preserve food. Remove the moisture from the food and the food remains preserved. Because moisture 
is the perfect environment for microorganisms to grow. So when you remove moisture from the food, the food remains preserved, right? So sun drying is also very, very effective method. Now let us look at the different methods in which you can preserve food. So chemical methods. Salts and edible oils are the common chemicals generally used to check the growth of microorganisms and these are called preservatives. So salt, salt is a, salt is a very normal or a, a very commonly used preservative. But the chemical preservatives are sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite. This is super, super, super important. 100% guaranteed question in the exam. Give the examples of chemical preservatives. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite. These are, the, these are the preservatives that are used on large scale preservation. Large scale preservation. When you want to preserve food which is in tons, you know, lots of kilos, lots of bulk of food when you want to preserve, you use sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite. Super, super, super important. You need to remember these names. You need to remember these names. So I would write here that. These should be no, no Ghajni over here. No Ghajni over here. You have to remember these names. You have to remember these names. Okay? Yes, 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 Sohani. Uh, canning is also a way. Canning is also a way. Why low interaction fun with, uh, fun with Somya? Actually, the reason is higher Z. The thing is my throat is like completely gone. This is like my fifth class since morning. Throat is completely gone. It's paining too much. And that is why, you know, I'm not shouting or I'm not, you know, like in my complete uh, avatar because too bad. Right? Chala. And now, sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite. Okay? Moving on further. Preservation by common salt. So over here, you can... Salt is the best preservative for pickles, olives and meat. Pickles, olives and meat. So salt is very very good. Salt is very very good for meat preservation. For meat preservation. Right? For meat preservation, salt is very very good. Okay? So meat and fish are covered with dry salt to check the growth of bacteria. Salting is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes and tamarind. This is very common. You would have seen in your houses also. Tamarind is always covered in salt and stored in, uh, you know, it is stored in glass. Tamarind is always stored in glass and it is covered with salt because that helps to keep the tamarind intact, right? So salting is another way in which you can preserve food from the microorganisms. Got it? Chal. Rickets. Are Sakshi. Rickets is vitamin D deficiency. Now, sugar. Sugar reduces the moisture content which inhibits the growth of bacteria and spoils the food. Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by sugar. Jams are usually made from the pulp of whole fruit. Jelly is crystal clear jam but made only from the juice. Marmalade, fruit bar or leather, fruit toffees, preserves or murabbas, candied fruit, glazed food. All of these can be preserved by using sugar. Usually sugar is used to preserve the sweet foods only. Okay? Now, Further, we have got oil and vinegar. Oil and vinegar is used to preserve pickles and vegetables. The vegetables, fruits, fish and meat are often preserved using oil and vinegar. Other uh, grade 7, grade 7 classes on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay? Now, yes, Joita, there was a bacteria that was found on the camera which was on moon for 2 years. So, bacteria can survive in any environment. Right? Now, uh, the thing is that what are the other methods in which you can preserve food? You can preserve food uh, by sun drying, hot and cold treatment, right? These are the physical methods in which you can preserve food. Okay? Chal. So now, uh, milk, no, milk is preserved by pasteurization. So milk is preserved by pasteurization. But a fast Chal. Let us once again go piche and let us see what all we learned. So we learned that food can be preserved by chemical methods and physical methods. Chemical methods include use of salt, preservatives, oil, vinegar, sugar. Okay. Chemical methods include salt, sugar, oil, vinegar, preservatives. Preservatives include sodium benzoate, sodium metabisulfite. These are the chemical methods. 
physical methods include canning, storage and packaging, sun drying, hot and cold treatment, freezing, okay? frozen peas, frozen meat, you know your, there are many uh, snacks which you can directly fry and eat, they are all frozen foods, frozen foods are super unhealthy, super 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 unhealthy, right? So, chemical methods include salt, sugar, oil, vinegar, preservatives like sodium benzoate, sodium metabisulfide. Physical methods include sun drying, hot and cold treatment, pasteurization, canning, packaging, storage, and even your freezing. Even your freezing. Okay? Chug. Thank you so much, Tech Gaming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Now, salt and edible oils we have already done. We have already also learned about uh, what can be used, where can salt be used to preserve. We learned about sugar also and oil and vinegar is for pickles. Okay? Chalo. Now, hot and cold treatment. So, before milk, before boiling milk, before it is stored or used, boiling kills many microorganisms. We keep our food in the refrigerator. Low temperature inhibits the growth of microorganisms. Milk is pasteurized. What do you mean by the word pasteurization? Pasteurization is a method in which milk is at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds and then it is suddenly brought down to 10 degrees and this from hot to cold this jump this process is called as pasteurization and it was discovered by Louis Pasteur super important again again super important again this should be no gajini. You cannot forget it. You cannot forget it. You cannot forget it. Okay? Okay? So now, with that, let us move ahead. Let us move ahead. And storage and packaging. So nowadays, dry fruits or even vegetables are stored in sealed air packets packets to prevent the attack of microorganisms. Okay? Now, in the 1800s, several scientists developed new methods of preserving food. During the Napoleonic Wars, Napoleon Bonaparte offered a price of 12,000 francs to anyone who could invent a better way to preserve food. In 1810, Nicholas Appert, a French chef, won the prize after he discovered the heating, that heating food could make it safe. So he won the prize of 12,000 francs. So this is an amazing fact about food preservation. Oh, how was it uh, sunny? I hope it was good. I hope it was great. Yeah. Okay. Once again, Anik, once again, I will revise the physical and chemical method. So food preservation can be done in two ways. Physical methods, chemical method. Chemical methods include use of salt, sugar, oil, vinegar and preservatives. Examples of preservatives are sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite. Then comes the physical method. Physical methods include sun drying, freezing, hot and cold treatment, canning, packaging, storage in airtight containers and also your pasteurization. Okay? So these are the ways in which the physical preservation of food can be done. Okay. Can viruses be friends? Yes, viruses can be used to make vaccine and they also help to control the pests. There are certain vi viruses who go and attack pests and to reduce pests, viruses can be used. Now, if you want to learn with me in detail in the Vedanta regular classes, you can join me. By you know, this is the way in which Vedanta classes are conducted. It is super amazing, and I urge all of you to at least experience it once. So, if you want to join me and all the amazing teachers at Vedanta, you can just go to vdng.is/ytpro and use the coupon code PRPRO. Use this coupon code PRPRO, and you will get an additional ten percent discount. And also, Vedanta promises you that if you join Vedanta, you are not making an expense. You are making an investment because when you join Vedantu, you get a guarantee in the improvement of your score. And if you do not see an improvement in your scores, you will get your entire piece back. 
So join Vedantu, attend 75% classes, attend the 75% test and you are all set to get an improvement in your score. If you do not get an improvement in your score, we promise you to refund your entire fees back to you without asking you any questions. No ifs, buts or whys, take your fees and go back. Right? Because we believe, we completely believe in our content, we have faith in our teachers and we trust our presentation. And we know that when our content, teachers and presentation comes together, the child is definitely going to improve and pass out with flying colors. So if you want your name shining on the wall of fame, join Vedantu now. Just go on the link that is given in the description of the video and also pinned in the chat and use the discount code PRPRO for an additional 10% off. Right? Now, the batches. Now, very, very important announcement, super important announcement, which will definitely interest you. My personal batch is starting from the next Monday. My personal batch is starting from the 2nd of August for grade 8. So if you want to join that batch, you have to go to vdntry.in/ytpro and put the coupon code PRPRO only, then you can join my batch. So if you want to join my batch from the 2nd of August, go to vdntry.in/ytpro and use the coupon code PRPRO to join my batch. Right? So moving on, uh, these are the premium batches. Those were the light and classic batches. Now. You can enroll for the Mega Volt that is Vedantu Olympiad litmus test for class 5th to 12th which is absolutely free of course. If you want to register for Mega Volt, you can just go to btng.in slash Mega Volt. The test is on the 14th of August at 3 pm. Right? And uh, reasons why there is nothing like Volt because get mentored by experienced master teachers who have given many Olympiad qualifiers over the years. Daily live interactive classes and home assignments to master the subject wise concepts. Revise your concepts 24 7 with recorded live lectures of your favorite master teachers. Weekly tests prepared by subject experts to examine your learning. Individual result analysis by academic mentors to review your performance. And get rewards for your hard work and win Amazon vouchers worth rupees up to 17,500. So just uh, join board. Vacuum packing is Anik physical method. Okay. Now guys, to play the Menti, just go to www.menti.com and use the coupon code 95740082. 95740082. That is the code 95740082. That is the code for the Menti. Just go to www.menti.com. Hi, Dilufar. Devanshana, cold is putting in a refrigerator. Heat is, you know, heating the food. Right? Chal. 9574082. That is the code for the menti. Just go to www.menti.com, guys. Definitely, Aryan, I will. Definitely, definitely. Archana, I am. I am sipping on some hot water. No summer. That is in nutrition in plants. Symbiotic association. Just go to www.menti.com and use the code 9574082. Harshita, Havaman, Tumba Chari, Delhi. Thank you, Diti. Thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you so much. Thank you, Sandy. God bless you. Thank you so much. Means a lot. Thank you, Vihan. Hi, Akshara. Hello. Hi, Fatima. Nitrogen fixation next Monday. 100%. Hi, Vihan. Subham. First, it is 70 and then suddenly brought down to 10. That's great, Dipti. Thank you, Gauri. Thank you. Thank you, Umar. Thank you, your siblings. Chalo. Quickly join. Just go to www.menti.com. Thank you, Suhani. It's not my birthday, Bunch. It's not my birthday. Thank you, Rohit. And just go to www.menti.com and use the code 9574082. Yeah. Hi, Yashi. Hello. Join the Menti. Let's start. Let's start the Menti. There are super easy questions today. A little tricky, but I'm sure you'll get it. Yeah. 
So 9574082 is the code for the mentee. We have got almost 170 students, 175. Let us make it 200 and then let us join the mentee. Come on, quick, 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 guys, quickly join www.menti.com and put the code 9574082. ठीक है? चलो जल्दी, 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 quick, 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 very quick, very quick. Hello, Jadi Jadi, www.menti.com. The code is, some of you please put the code in the chat, guys. Please put the code in the chat. 9574082. Please put the code in the chat. Please put the code in the chat, somebody. 9574082. Oreo is great, Sandy. He's absolutely great. Thank you so much, Madhur, Madhur, Madhur. Thank you so much, Chabi. Thank you, Swati, Kumar. Akshara, Juhita, Aditya, Suhani, Krishna, Jaibal, Harshita. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Srijan. 200 are done. Very good. 9574082. Quickly join the Menti guys. Quick, 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 very quick. Right. Chalo. Let's start. Let's start the Menti guys. Super easy questions. Here is the first one. Dash is not used as food preservative. You do not use it as a food preservative. Salt, sugar, vinegar, methane. What is not used as a food preservative? Very, very easy. Do not forget the word not. Dash is not used as a food preservative. Not used. Come on, it's a very, very easy one. Super easy. Super, super, super easy question. Great feed. Great feat. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So the answer is methane. Methane is a gas. Uh, it is used as a fuel, but not as a food preservative. Right? Salt, sugar, vinegar, oil, all of them are used as a food preservative. Let us look at the super board with superstars for this question. We have got Kushbu, Vroom, Samriddhi, Geetha, Rishit, Chanmok, Rajesh. Love you too, dear. Thank you so much. Gargi, Jaival, Mehta, and Chami. Rajesh, love you too. Thank you so much. God bless you. Right? Moving on. Khushbu, you are the fastest. You are the fastest. You are the fastest. You are the fastest. Very good. That's great. So question number two. Absolutely great question on your screens. Now, who discovered pasteurization? The answer is in the question itself. Who discovered pasteurization? Alexander Fleming, Louis Pasteur, John Mendel or none of these. Who discovered pasteurization? Very, very easy. Thank you. Thank you, Archana. Love you to be arrest. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Quick, 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 very quick. Super easy question. The answer is in the question itself. Who discovered pasteurization? It is Louis Pasteur who discovered the method of pasteurization of milk. So, guys, do you know? Do you know that the milk, the milk packet that reaches your house, it is already 15 days old. And that is why the milk packet that reaches your house has an expiry of that particular day only. Because you cannot use the milk beyond that day. Just boil it and then you can use it for 2-3 days. But you need to immediately boil it. Because already that milk is 15 days old. Okay? Chalo. Moving on further. Looking at the super board with the superstars. We have got Kushbu, Khalil, Samriddhi, Rishit, Chanmuk, Rajesh. Thank you so much. God bless you. Ranjini, Vijay, Vaishnavi and Kamakshi. Ranjini, you are a bacteria. Oh my God. That's scary. Kushbu, you are the fastest. That's amazing. Great. Congratulations. Amazing. No, no. My birthday is in August. Harshita, it's in August. Okay. Question number three. Absolutely free. On your screen. Now. Hi Devan, Shi Chauhan, Dash is used as a preservative on a large scale. Uh, sodium benzoate, hypochlorite, sulfide or nitrate. Benzoate, hypochlorite, sulfide or nitrate. Super easy question, you can definitely answer it. Sorry, that is okay. We know the use of microorganisms, I'm sure all of you know it. It is on the 10th of August, Ruthie. 10th of August. I'm great, Komal, how are you? Thank you so much. Microorganisms are used to make curd, to make cheese. In the bakery industry, in the wine industry, in the alcohol industry, for making idli, for making vaccines, for making antibiotics, for in the nitrogen fixation also. Okay? So 
So sodium benzoate is the correct answer. Once I just quickly uh, tell. So I think uh, one of you uh, is you know asking me about the uses of microorganism char B. So uses of microorganisms. Microorganisms are used to make curd. They are used to make cheese, right? They are used in the bakery industry. They are used in the wine industry. They are used to make antibiotics. Right? They are also used to make vaccines. And they are used in soil, nitrogen, fixation. Then, here you use bacteria. East Take it, Charlie. Got it? Use of microorganisms. Yeah. Next question, no leader. Kushbu Ranjani, Samriddhi, Shanmuk, Satya, Mumbai Indians, Ananya, Shreshth, Varsha and Diya. Kushbu, you are the fastest. Shreshth uh, is second and we have got a tie between Diya, Ananya and Samriddhi. East, East is a fungi. Summer, East is a fungi. Okay, sure. Question number four, fantastic four on your screen now. Thank you Crafty Mind, thank you so much. I can't sing Archana, I will die if I sing today. Dash prevents spoilage of pickles. Pickles may what can you use? You can use oil, vinegar, both or none. Very, very easy question today. Super easy question. Super, super, super easy. Guys, if you if you like my classes and if you want to join my regular classes, which are starting from Monday, you just need to go to vdnt.in slash ytpro and use the coupon code PRPR. Thank you, Bhavna. Mahima, East is a fungi. East is a fungi. Super easy question. This is very, very easy. Right? The answer is both A and B. Absolutely correct. You can use oil, vinegar, salt to preserve pickles. Chal. Kushbu, Suresh, Ananya, Mumbai Indians, Yubika, Vaishnavi, Rishit, sorry, Ritish, Harshita, Jagriti, and Tanya. Thank you, Rishi. Thank you so much. Right? Chal. Thank you, Akanksha. Moving on to the fantastic five question. Fantastic five on your screen. Chalo. Hi, Janvi. Hello, Rishi. Yes, 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 you siblings. Yes. Thank you, Akarshi. Jams and jellies. Jams and jellies are preserved by salt, oil, sugar, or none. Very easy. I mean, this is common sense. Even if you don't know about preservation, you can answer this. What is protozoa? Protozoa is a type of a microorganism. Example of protozoa is your amoeba, paramecium, plasmodium. They all are protozoa. Protozoas can move. That is their unique quality. That they are locomotives. They can move with the help of flagella, with the help of cilia, with the help of, uh, you know, even uh, pseudopodia. Right? Very good sugar. Um, and the very good sugar is the correct answer. That is absolutely right. On the super board with the superstars, we have got Khushbu, Shresh, Ananya, Mumbai Indians, uh, Harshita, Yubika, Vaishnavi, Jagriti, Swayam, and Kari Minati. Oh my god. Khushbu, you are the fastest, and Khushbu, you are the winner of the Menti. Congratulations, that's amazing. Great job. Great, great. Akarshit. Akarshit, right? Akarshit means attractive, if I'm not wrong. So great, Khushbu, great job. Amazingly awesome, right? No, no, no. Janvi pickles contain fat. Pickle contains fats and vitamins. Lots of vitamins. Pickles are very, very good for your health because they have got good amount of vitamin C. It's very good for the immunity. So you should definitely have homemade pickle every day in your diet. Right? With that, guys, we come to the end. We come to the end of the session. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and you will let me know in the comment section that are you okay with this time at 9 o'clock on Monday or do you want a different time? Right? 
right? So guys, please comment in the comment section and thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, do give this video a big fat thumbs up because you have liked it, you have spent the last 30 minutes with me. So a thumbs up to banta hai. Share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to Vidanta Young Wonders because it's absolutely key, right? So I'll be seeing you next on Wednesday. And if you want to join my regular classes, just go to the link that is vdnt.in slash Pro and use PRPRO as the discount code which will give you additional 10% off, right? Thank you so much guys. And until we meet next, take care of yourself. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed. Have a great time. Good night. Bye-bye.